Hey, welcome back. So I will show you how is it with the coin after using it for two weeks now fully. At the end of the video, I will also show you the changes I did for the coin to fit my needs better. Also, I will answer the community questions, so stay tuned. So the first reason why you should build your coin is basically fun. So you learn how to solder, you learn how to put electronics together, you will learn how to yeah, assemble keyboards and also how they work. It is quite a lot of fun to create it. As you saw in the last video, I, yeah, I had fun to research like which keycaps I want to use, which switches I want to use. You can like customize it quite a lot because in the end, every key you hit, you can, can configure it completely your own. The second reason why you should build the corn is the wrist strain. So for me, when I type on a normal keyboard, I have some wrist strain. It feels uncomfortable after a while. And with the corn, it feels way more comfortable because they are split apart. The one hand is the right and the left and everything is like very easy to type on. Also, you can put stuff in between. It looks nice. It's quite a lot of fun. And the fun. third reason for me, at least, is you learn how to type faster. Because if you type on a 10 finger keyboard or a normal keyboard, you have the habit of how to type. It's way harder to switch this to get rid of your like old typing habits. And it's way easier to fall back into the old ways of typing. With the coin, it's way harder to fall back into it because in the end, your right hand is on the right part of the keyboard and the left hand on the left part of the keyboard. So you cannot just like use your old habits of typing. Also, the keys are in a straight line. So it's different from a normal keyboard. So you learn how to touch type very fast, for me at least. Um, with the old keyboard, I was at around 60 words per minute. With the corn, I'm now after two weeks of training also around 60 words per minute. Like my record is at 61, I think. And uh, with the old one, I, I, or with a normal keyboard, I was a bit faster, but to consider I was training on it for the last, I don't know, 10 years typing on a normal keyboard. With the corn, I hit the same amount of speed in two weeks, basically. So I assume if this is like keeping forward, I will get way faster with the corn after a year or two. So what did I change after two weeks of using it? So the first thing I did was putting a steel ball into the like pointing finger uh, key. So I find my rest position very fast because every key feels the same uh, and there are no keys with like a little bump on it. So I created my own and I will also show how I, how I did it. But basically I heated up the ball and just melted it into the key. Um, I did this on both sides, so I have fi I find my resting position very fast. The second thing, thing I did was basically glued on the bumper feet onto the uh, inner side of the corn and on the outside I let put like small ones on it. So it's like slightly angled. Um, it feels way more natural for me to have like a bit of an angle, but not too much. Also, I put on a 3D printed case. Uh, my brother printed it for me. Unfortunately, it did not fit very well. So also it was very loud um, if I put it on because it, it was like empty inside. So I did not use it. And also, to be honest, I like the, the look of this. And also I switched some key positions. So here you can see my current um, key map. I will also put in the description how I configured all of my keys, but I changed some positions because this, for example, is an escape key. It feels way more natural for me because I remap my um, old escape key on the normal keyboard as well. And also I changed some other positions that fit my needs a bit more perfect. What I did not use yet is like multiple home raw finger keys, like hold down to change something. I am thinking about experimenting with this one as well. But to be honest, at the moment, I just do use typing on it or learn to type on it and use it for two weeks now. So maybe this will be a future project. So coming to the community questions, I had a few. So for example, how long does the keyboard last? For me, at least it's around three days. Um, when I charge it fully, it's after three days at 20% or two, two to three days after 20% depends on how much I type. And I type only on this one, so I try to avoid every other keyboard, so I will get used to it. What battery do I use? I use the 401235. This one fits perfectly under the key or under the, the microcontroller. It's a 150 milliamp hour battery. 
and it works quite well. How do I charge it? Um, yeah, I just put in USB-C here. So it's very easy. I use my MacBook charger for it and just charge it, um, or I charge it with the MacBook. Um, yeah, uh, how did I start? I will put down in the description some links for tutorials, but what I was starting with in the end was just researching on different um, platforms like Reddit and so on. And I was quite like into building my corn and that's why I just started researching different topics. In the end, the tutorials are super easy. The only thing is just you need to decide if you want to use like a low profile one or a high profile one by the right plate, the right controller and everything else is just soldering everything together, putting on the keys as you saw in the, in the last video. And the last thing is how do I transport it? Um, I am traveling quite a lot for work. So I use the keyboard as well to use it at, uh, at different locations. So I just put on the paper, like the carton on top of it to um, yeah, make sure nothing scratches, put them so together, put some rubber band around it and just put it into it, like this small Ikea bag I found, put it into it and just put it into my backpack. Also, if you're interested in how do I pack my backpack as a traveling consultant, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. See you soon.